So the situation is, we have a pile of chain, and we're told that this pile of chain is frictionless, so it's completely smooth, it has a length of L, and then has a, a, a uniform density of sigma kilos per meter. So what happens is, someone starts to pull the chain upwards, so after a while the chain is going to look like this. So there's a hand holding onto this point, and it's pulling the chain upwards at a constant velocity of v. So the question is, at the very moment when this chain is straightened down, so at the very moment when the chain is straightened down, so this length here would be equal to L, because that's, because that's the length of the entire chain. So at this very moment, what is the total work done? What is the total work done by the hand that's holding onto this point? So to find the total work, we need to multiply force by the distance traveled. And to, fi and to find the force, we, we can consider the change in momentum of this entire system. So let us do just that. So what is the momentum? Well, momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Well, this stationary part here contributes no momentum, so the momentum comes from this moving part. So what is the mass of the moving part? Well, the mass is equal to well, let me just let this distan distance here be equal to x. Well the, well, the mass is equal to x times the density, and v is just v, because we're told that it's traveling at a constant velocity of v. And so we take the, deri the derivative with, res uh, with respect to t. So we get dx dt. Well, dx dt is just v, because x is the distance traveled by the hand, and it's traveling upwards at a rate of v. So what is the change in momentum equal to? Well, this is equal to the net force acting upon the entire system. Well, the net force come from, comes from two things. First, it comes from the force by the hand that is a function of x. So first, we have the force that comes from the hand, and it points upwards. And second of all, we have gravity. Well, gravity doesn't really do much for the stationary part here because there's a normal force that counteracts it that prevents this part of the chain from falling through the ground. But there's also gravity that's working upon this moving part here. Well, the gravity that's acting upon the moving part is equal to the mass of the moving part, sigma x times g, and it's pointing downwards, downwards so negative. And so there we have it. Once we solve this equation, once we solve this equation, we would have found our force. So it's really just a matter of simple rearrangement. So the force exerted by our hand upon the chain as a function of x is equal to sigma gx plus sigma v squared. So going back to our problem, we want to find the work done. Well, work done is equal to force times distance, and the distance go all the way from 0 to L, because L is the total length of the chain, so x needs to go from 0 to L. Well, this is a relatively simple integral, so you just do it as you normally do. So it's an integral in terms of x. So, so now we substitute L in, and then we get this. So essentially we're, we're done here already, so this is the work done by our hand. But there's actually a more, there's actually a more suggestive way to write this out. So uh, remind yourself that sigma L is the mass of the chain, so let sigma L be equal to m. So first let, let us observe this term. Well, there's a sigma L, right? So this is the mass. So this, this uh, right hand side term here, this is equal to mv squared. So plus what about this term? So there's also a sigma L. So we get mg L over 2. And then apart from this, so let me just write, write this out. So the work done is equal to mv squared plus mg L over 2. So also an interesting thing to see is that consider the, int the total energy of the entire system. So the total energy of the entire system. <coughs> so, once the chain has been straightened out, 
So once the chain has been straightened out, what is the total energy of the entire system? Well, the energy comes from the kinetic energy and the potential energy. Well, the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. And the potential energy, we can, since this is a continuous chain, we can take the center of mass as our reference point. So this height here will be L over 2. And potential energy is equal to mgh, which in our case is equal to mgl over 2. And so we see that the total energy of this entire system is different from the work done by our hand, so there is some energy loss. So the energy loss is equal to work done minus the total energy that we have, and in our case it's equal to 1 half mv squared. So this is the amount of energy that we've lost. And so there we have it. So we see that this entire process of straightening out the chain is actually inelastic. So there's bound to be some energy loss. And the energy loss is going to be equal to 1 half mv squared. And so there we have it. So I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.